How you guys doing? My name is Hayden, and this is an update on my uh, nearly completed build for the Volantex Ranger 2000. Uh, so the last video, we were ordering everything uh, from various websites, and in this video, uh, everything is completed. So as you can see, we have the Fat Shark uh, Attitude V5 goggles, and then I have this VAS uh, 5.8 gigahertz Pepperbox Extreme antenna. Uh, the transmitter that I have is the uh, FreeSky Tyrannus X90 Plus, and then on the back of it, I'm using the Dragonlink uh, 433 megahertz transmitter. So that is downlinking uh, telemetry data from the plane, and then as you can see, that is plugged into my computer, which is running Q Ground Control. Um, I do have it dual booted uh, to Windows so that I can. Uh, adjust all the parameters on the Pixhawk. So inside, uh, well, so the, first of all, the airframe is the Volantex Ranger 2000. And on the inside, we have a Pixhawk 2.4.8 from eBay. Um, that has a M8N eBay GPS connected to it. And then um, the Telem 2 port is connected uh, down to the receiver, which is way down in there. Along with that, we also have a Minim OSD that I just bought on Amazon. So that is where the other telemetry port is going to. And these cables I just bought from MRO Robotics, uh, from the original Pixhawk manufacturer. Um, and then I just bought the Pixhawk on eBay because uh, they sell it for like $300 on the website. Um, up top here, we have the safety switch for the Pixhawk. Uh, so you just hold that button down for five seconds and then it allows you to arm it um, using the transmitter. Uh, as you can see down in there, there's a massive mess of wires. This is running a Nanotech 4000 milliamp hour 3 cell. I do have a Nanotech 4000 milliamp hour uh, 4 cell coming in the mail in a couple of days from now. So that should be good. With the camera in the front, I'm running a run cam split free. So you can see that down in there. So that is just double, side, double sided tape to the front. It came with these standoffs and I just drilled a couple holes in a random piece of plastic that I found and double sided taped that to the side of it. So at uh, the side of the plane, and then you can see those three cables coming off of there that's going into the minimum OSD, uh, which then goes back here and I have added a couple more servo extension cables. Uh, so this one is the video in from the run cam. And then this one is the power that I just soldered directly to the XT60 off of the ESC, which is connected to this Pixhawk uh, power distribution board right there. And then that goes to the other side of this wing that I don't have installed right now because I wanted to show you the bottom of it. So if we take a look at this. Uh, I just ran those two more cables into another little trench, I guess, in the bottom of the wing uh, that goes past the servos and then cuts off and goes into this TBS Unify Pro 32 HDHV which is a one watt, 5.8 gigahertz uh, video transmitter. So that is just in the wing like that. I left about a millimeter of space for cooling, as you can see right there. Uh, and then I kind of just got a piece of tape and, and uh, taped it on there. Uh, so air should be able to pass through those PCBs and keep it nice and cool during flight. And I have it like this, where it can come disconnected really easily with a clip and everything, uh, because my car is pretty small and is not gonna fit this whole plane in the back of it. So this is kind of the next best option for me. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video, this little update. And uh, if you liked it, feel free to give it a like and comment. Probably won't get any views, to be honest, but uh, you know, uh, whatever. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit me up. I think that uh, my email should be there. And anyways, have a nice day. Talk to you later.